All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold the phone. Did you guys see what I just saw? Did the carpenter just hit himself in the face with his own hammer? What the fuck? Your objective is to steal the opposing team's artifact and carry it back to your base while protecting your own team's artifact. Hey guys, it's Nikki. Artifact assault time and we're playing as the red coat. My god, she is so hot. I'm not even kidding. She's probably one of the top two hottest girls in any game I've ever played. Anyway, that's not what the focus is today. Today I need to steal artifacts and murder people and also get my own artifact back. Starting off with this dude who decides to run away with mine. I'm gonna cross over the border, see if I can get a cutoff on him. Looks like he's about to go through the chase breaker below me. Nope, aerial time. And unfortunately, I'm kinda screwed. At least I got the artifact back though. That's all that matters in artifact assault. Not the kills, not the score, but the number of artifacts you manage to score on the other team without them getting too many on you. And that's one up for my team. It looks like someone's coming nearby to take the artifact. I don't get the kill though. I'm gonna take the ground finish for 250 points, which is cool. And taunting lots of people because I think the red coat has a particularly really cute taunt. But come on, what heterosexual guy Assassin's Creed 3 player isn't really hot for the red coat? Anyway, thanks for the throwing knife. I'm just gonna murder this man. And you might be asking yourself, Nikki, why is this artifact assault game besides the fact you're playing the red coat exceptionally awesome? Well, I think this is a perfect example of how both teams should be playing Artifact Assault. I'm always attacking, the other team's always attacking. We have pretty much no line trolling, very little gun, very little base camping, and very little glitchiness, besides the fact that this dude's gonna get on his roller skates and slide off a little bit to nail me in the face with a hammer. I probably should have dropped my smoke bomb, but I thought I jumped far away enough to dodge him. Anyway, even though I play it a little bit, Artifact Assault isn't a game mode I'm quite fond of, because what usually happens is one team completely demolishes the other and the other team decides to camp in their base for the entire time and kill anyone who comes by and I don't have enough smoke bombs and throwing knives to defend myself from all those people although I do have teleport to help me get on the other side safely there are quite a few ways though that you can be annoying an artifact assault and also using the gun is one of them I like to go on the offense quite a bit because when I have my abilities ready I like to see if I can get an extra 500 points for managing to bring this thing back to base. And I also like escaping people. But for the people who want to use gun and just shoot you as soon as you grab the artifact, that's just not a lot of fun. And I accidentally get an out of sight escape right here instead of a hidden escape, which would have been 50 more points because I pushed R1 a little too soon. Not a very good choice on my part. But lots of people behind me who want me dead. So I'm going to pause for a moment, see if I can land a few punches. And it looks like I can. This dude jumps across the border and I manage to sock him in his gut. That's an extra 600 points for punching someone in the stomach. And I'm going to leave, score the artifact, and get these pursuers off my back. I know you could use Animus Shield. Sir, don't come take my artifact. I know you can use Animus Shield to block bullets, but more than one person can run the gun, and I also have to use these things to watch out for offensive smoke bombs. If I could run Animus Shield on all three of my ability slots, then I probably would. Anyway, Artifact Assault's a lot of fun when you're not constantly getting slaughtered by the other team because they're sitting in their base. And speaking of slaughtering people, hit and kill right here. Despite the fact that this game mode, though, can irritate me quite a bit, I'm really enjoying this match because people are always on offense. I really hate it when people are on defense 100% of the time, especially when they're losing. When you're losing, you kind of have to cross the border and go steal the enemy team's artifact. Kind of like what that guy's doing. I tried to chase him down. But this carpenter is going to come up behind me. Take a face to the face, sir. I usually say take a fist to the face, but I just headbutted that dude. And time to run away because I got lots of whispers behind me, and it looks like our artifact person is going to need a little bit of help. So I'm going to cross the border so I can kill people chasing her down, and it looks like there's one right now. Should have been paying a little more attention behind me because some dude's going to sneak up behind me and punch me in the stomach, which I don't quite appreciate, and then he's going to proceed to lag his way off of the boat. That's alright though, I'm going to keep him locked for a 50 point assist and land an extreme variety. Four minutes into the game, not too shabby, that was pretty quick. And I'm not too happy about being punched in the stomach, so I'm going to have to murder someone for a lot of points in a second. What is that? Ability sets and artifact assault you say? Well. Smoke bombs and teleport are pretty obvious, you can use teleport to get out of dangerous areas pretty quickly. Smoke bombs defend yourselves, throwing knives over gun because you can use throwing knives to stun people like I'm going to do right here, cooperative stun. And you can also use them to slow down artifact thieves. Speaking of artifact thieves, looks like our artifact thief's gonna stun this dude. Incog focus ground and hidden right here for 900 points. That's quite a bit for an artifact assault kill. Anyway, I've been hanging out on my side of the map for quite a while now, so after my smoke bomb recharges, I'm gonna make a run for it. Now, I usually like to teleport into the artifacts, and I'm not going to do it this time. 
but I'd rather teleport in than teleport out because when you teleport out you're vulnerable to being killed and I don't want to use my smoke bomb to cover me because I want to use that for actual stuns. Speaking of stuns, head to head, I, I like to take a fist to the face a lot better than take a head to the head because that just sounds weird. Anyway, now it's time to run away because lots of people are angry at me for stealing their artifact. These escapes are always a lot of fun. Really high pressure, especially if you're going up against a team that knows what they're doing. Chases are really scary. For some reason right here, I'm going to get throwing knife through the chase breaker, and this dude's going to come through the other one and kill me. I don't know why Ubisoft decided to give that guy chase breaker piercing throwing knives, but that sucks. I'm not too happy about that, and fudge, I forgot to turn off my phone before the commentary again. Excuse me one second. Hello? Yeah, this is him. What's up? Beast mode? What are you talking about? Where is that music coming from? I don't have time for this. Go away! What's going on? Hello? Hello? It's getting louder. I don't know where it's coming from. I'm doing a commentary. Hello? Where do you think you're going? Get over here! Sorry about that, I just got a really important call. Now it looks like I just killed six people in a little bit under a minute while I was gone. So I'm going to teleport back in, that's enough defending. I'm going to go take an artifact. Like I said earlier, teleporting in, I like a lot better because it's a little safer than actually teleporting out and having to use your smoke bomb to defend yourself. Although teleporting out would be a good idea if no one was there. I'm going to take the same route I ran last time, except I'm not going to go through that chase breaker because at this point, chase breakers don't quite have my trust anymore. And it looks like we have at least one or two people behind me. They're not too happy about me stealing their artifact. Spoiler alert, I actually score this one. I wanted to talk for a second about artifact assault in game modes with these circles, where as soon as you get in a circle, you either take an artifact or in domination, you start taking a territory. I think in these game modes, there should be a delay between the time you get in the circle and the time the enemy team is notified that you've taken an artifact or you're starting to take a domination territory. Because what people can do is if you're in domination and you're hanging out in that circle, someone starts to take it, you just look for the persona that's trying to steal it and then identify who walked in the circle at the time the Animus Lady told you that the place is being lost. Same thing with Artifact Assault, you're camping the base. All you have to do is look for the person who looks like your target, who enters the circle. That way, it's not really easy to play Artifact Assault stealthily. I mean, you can do it, but the fact that when you walk in the circle, they say that the artifact's been taken, that's not too good. I mean, of course the enemy team should know when you've taken their artifact, but I think the notification from the Animus Lady, the little narrator of the game, should tell you two seconds, one or two seconds after you take it, because if someone's just staring at that circle and they see one single persona enter it, and they hear instantly that their artifact's been taken, then it's kind of obvious who took it, so I'll add a little bit more stealth artifact stealth. I mean, running back and forth and getting in chases is kind of fun, but, you know. Anyway, there are two people chasing our artifact thief, and I'm not too happy about that. Unfortunately, we run at the same speed, so I'm not able to catch this guy and punch him in the back of the neck. But I was in this similar situation earlier when I was busy killing someone, and someone snuck up behind me and punched me in the back of the head. I'm not taking it this time, sir, die. This guy didn't even contest me. I don't appreciate him creeping up on me behind, though, so... It was my civil duty right there to break that guy's nose and relocate his intestines onto the floor. Now, someone's already going to go in to steal the artifacts, so I'm going to decide to just come back to our side of the border and defend them when they get over here. A little bit more Ubisoft shenanigans right here. Looks like my teammate's starting to run across the way. I'm going to try to land a stun right here. I'm mid-stun animation, but that carpenter just completely ignores me and lunges across what seems to be 10 feet or so and kills the person with our artifact. Now, we got guys everywhere trying to steal my artifact. I'm a little bit confused right now as to who to kill. So I'm just going to pick this guy, try to get in the blend group for a second for the extra hidden. Unfortunately, he contests the kill, which will get rid of my hidden status. If I even had it, I'm not too sure if I hung on that blend group long enough at all. A little more than 30 seconds left in the game, and it looks like the enemy team's going to have to pick it up a little bit if they want to mount a major comeback. Anyway, let's talk about something else for a second. A lot of you guys are trying to add me on Ultraviolet Nikki, which is the account I play on most of the time, and the account I make videos on. Unfortunately, that friends list is full, and I got to reject every 
little friend request. I leave one or two spaces, but I'm considering it full because I need to add people from school and stuff. Anyway, I can't add any subscribers on my Ultraviolet Nikki account, so if you guys want to play Assassin's Creed with me, you're going to need to hit me up on Twitter or add Stealth Shampoo on PSN. And both of those ways are ways you can play with me if you want to on Assassin's Creed 3. That's the end of the game. 13 artifacts from my team, 3 for the other. That's a 10 artifact lead, not too bad. Anyway, if you want to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Stealth Shampoo, you can check out the description. There's going to be a link. Final score, 10,200 points. Pretty good. I wish every artifact assault game would go this way where there are no guns, no base camping, just pure offensive killing awesomeness. Anyway, Twitter in the description. Two of my older videos are going to pop up on the screen for a second. Those links will also be in the description for you mobile users. If you don't want to miss any previous badass Assassin's Creed 3 content from me, then hit those links. And if you want to see any future Assassin's Creed stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button up top. I would highly appreciate it. The song I used for Beast Mode will be linked down in the description for those of you wondering. Thank you all for watching once again. My name is Nikki, and I will see you all some other time.